Good evening, explorers. Good evening. We're here in Maggie Valley. We plan on kind of doing a little bit of a food tour mm -hmm. here. Um, there are many different mom and pop shops, yeah. probably about, about 10 to 15 easily that we were 10 able to, to 15 identify. 15 that I could see, yeah. Yeah. We're probably only going to be able to hit three of them. Yes, because we're only here for two nights. And we only have so much money. And I only eat so much. Right, exactly. <laughs> There's not so much uh, stuffing you can do. Yeah. So what we, what we wanted to do was we'll hit these three restaurants and then we are going to actually drive around and show you a couple of the other more popular restaurants in the area. Yeah, so we can at least list them off. You can see what they are and tell you what maybe a little bit about them, like if they're barbecue or steakhouse or, you know, country food or whatever. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's go hop in the truck and we'll take them to our first stop. All right. Sounds good. Parkings around the back. Not sure we'll front. They said they're not fast food, so it is fresh with every. There's menus there you grab. What's around here? Oh, you got bathrooms this way. It's a little dead end though. And a little bit of Tampa representing. <laughs> so, I got all kinds of beers down there as you can see. This Bold Rock, we were just at their brewery. It's really good. And they got something called a raspberry donut cheesecake. I'm kind of interested in this, but Mike's saying he doesn't know. I'm definitely interested though. Salad. So our first stop is Brick House Burgers and Pizza. Um, so according to what I was seeing, it's actually not like number six on TripAdvisor. Yeah. And apparently they're pretty accurate because we and showed up. This place up, is packed. I know. It's like what seven o'clock. Yeah. And there's a line like out the door. Yeah. <laughs> Food looked good though, but yeah. we'll show you more when uh, when it arrives. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there was a raspberry pie donut. Yeah, they were all out. They were out of it, so we don't get the chance to try that. But um, they do have like these little mini funnel cakes with dipping sauce. So. Yeah, and we yeah. got this really awesome onion ring tower. Yep. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna dig in and wait for our uh, ring horses to show up. Yeah, our pizza. Those onion rings were delightful. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh my god, the hiccups. <laughs> We, uh, we actually chose, they have an uh, indoor and outdoor seating. Yeah. We chose outdoor seating because it is just beautiful out now after that long heat wave. Oh my god, it was almost 100 in Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. and it, it almost feels like fall. We were saying yeah. how interesting it is. It has that fall feeling, but a summer spectrum. So it's like the best of both worlds, yeah. at least in our opinion. Yeah. And the pizza has arrived. Well, the pepperoni one. Yeah, mine. And I, gauges. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, here comes yeah, mine. delicious. So if we didn't mention, this place actually has burgers and pizza. You get your sides, you got your starters here, and then you got your salads, and they have all these burgers. Okay, explorers, that's going to be the end of our first stop. Yep, food was really good. Uh, the service was great. Both the other waitress, she was just as nice too. So yeah, what's really funny is that there's a sign, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, that says that you need to grab it order it and then you're pretty much on your own waiting for however long it takes to do that. We did get here, it wasn't quite as packed, but the line just piled in behind us. Yeah. So you may have a range of time that you have to wait for it, but the food was definitely worth the wait. Yep. Um, they're actually closed Sundays and Mondays, so don't come here Sunday or Monday. Yeah. So. Um, all right. 
So, right, so I think the, we'll go to the next uh, yep, stop. Through the magic of the hand, we'll be right. at the next stop. And we're here. Through the magic of editing. We are at Joey's Pancake House, which was established in 1966 today, to uh, have some breakfast, which is the second stop on our little food adventure here in Maggie Valley. Yeah, it is open from 7 a.m. till noon every day, except for Wednesdays when it closes. Yeah, now we have an hour long wait, yeah. which I guess is a good sign. Yeah, there's a huge <coughs> line of people. <laughs> but it's probably a good thing that they do close at noon because as long as the line is, it probably takes a good while for them to get out of the restaurant. She took my phone number and I'm gonna get a text on my phone when they're when our table's ready. Yeah, luckily you don't have to wait here with us, so we will see you on the inside. Yeah. So we got in. It was only took about 20 minutes. So yeah, couple, so it wasn't too bad. A couple of the parties she kept calling, they didn't come, so they, yeah. took, they took their spot. This place specializes in pancakes, and they do all kinds of uh, seasonal pancakes. So she said this this time is strawberry. This season is strawberry. Yeah. So it's not really good. It's like chopped up strawberries in the pancakes, and yeah. then on top of the pancakes and whipped cream. <laughs> yeah, I might go with a traditional full breakfast. They recommend the uh, yeah. house specials. So. Yeah. Go ahead and try that. I think, or want something from that line. This menu has everything. We got omelets, we got heart healthy food, we got a kids menu, they got specialty pancakes, waffles, Belgian waffles, yum yum. Then they even got a house specials where they give you eggs and, and, and sausage or bacon with pancakes. And then you can have do side things. And there's a lot of side orders too. Okay, so we put our order in. Yeah. I went for a house special, and I'm gonna try their seasonal pancakes because it does have uh, the strawberries in it that sounded really good. Yeah. And I got banana nut pancakes. Um, we, we did the house special, but you were able to substitute the regular pancakes for flavored pancakes. Yeah, it's just a little bit of an extra charge on it. And but. Gage ended up getting the banana nut too, and Nicola yeah. got chocolate chip, so yeah. it should be interesting. All right, now we just wait. Yep. The food came and it just looks amazing. It's there's so much of it, and I'm I'm thinking this right here is probably about twenty five dollars. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna dig in and uh, let you know how it is at the end. Yeah. Well, the food was delicious. Yeah, it's very, very filling. filling. Yeah, I almost yeah. wish we would have split a meal. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you really stuff yourself. Right. So, so um, we we wanted to make sure you guys knew that this place is only open seven till noon. So get here early. And they only serve breakfast. And they only serve breakfast. There was no lunch menu or anything like that. And they are closed on Monday, Wednesdays, just as a reminder. Yeah. All right. Well, again, to the magic of editing, we're gonna head to the next place. And we're here. <laughs> so we, we're actually showing you where we parked first because yeah. this, it was crazy. There was no parking and we are literally on the side of the road. Yeah. Show, show them. So yeah, the restaurant's right here. So, um, needless to say, it looks like it's a popular place because yeah. the regular parking lot is full. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's called Pops Butts on the Creek Barbecue. Yeah. No, that name was just worth it. Yeah, the, we had to check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny. Something but, about eating butts on the creek. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
anyway sensors so, as you can see we are kind of far from the restaurant and you can smell the food in this area yeah. still so it smells delicious yeah it smells like barbecue smells really good if you're into barbecue yep i'd recommend checking this place out but we'll give you an official answer once we go in and try it yep all right let's go all right. We got slushies. That's the gift shop over there. She makes all that glass by hand. That's yeah, awesome. It's pretty cool. So, but we wanted to let you guys know this place is open every day except for Monday. So Monday's the day you don't want to come. <laughs> And I start, they open every day, it looks like 11 a.m. And they're open till 8 p.m. And then on Saturday, or Friday and Saturday is 9 p.m. So they stay an hour open yeah. later. So yeah. it smells delicious in there. It does. I can't wait to eat some barbecue. Definitely. <laughs> are on the creek. Our butts are on the creek now. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like a lot of things are covered in pulled pork. They got french fries with pulled pork on it. They have a salad, a brisket salad. Um, tons of oh, fried pickles. Oh, we got to get those definitely. Um, oh, baked, baked mac and cheese. Ooh, that sounds delicious. If you're into southern food, yum. Food has arrived. It's arrived. It was a little <laughs> bit of a wait, but yeah, what are you, you gonna do? You can't expect fast service. So. No, not in after uh, post COVID. All right. <laughs> All right. So Michael got the brisket. What'd you get again? I got the back attack, back burger. attack, burger. attack burger. with fries. Yeah. So I got the same thing as Nick, except with baked beans. These are Good the order of fried pickle pickles. spears. Yum. And then I got the brisket sandwich. With the, the mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Now that it's here, yeah, it's let's dig in. <laughs> it's a huge mess. <clears throat> Is it good? Yeah. Good brisket. Yeah. We're all finished. Everybody is stuffed. I don't think we have room for dessert. Mm -hmm. So, what were your thoughts about the brisket? Nice and smoky. Yes. Had a little bit of fat even around the edges of it that kind of added to the flavor. I'm not usually a big fat fan, yeah, but uh, it did add to the flavor, yeah, just really tender, yeah. So, the pickles, the, the fried pickles, though, those were nice, and tangy, and crunchy. I liked them. I ended up eating three of them. I ate my gold, <laughs> and um, oh, the mac and cheese. It had like this crust on it. It was kind of crunchy, but it was a little burnt, but in a good way, not in a bad way. That's gonna conclude our examples of places you could eat. Um, and what I mean by that is that that was the, where we're actually showing you the food and the inside of it. Yeah. Um, but for now, why don't we show them the other places that they could eat? So we drove around and we took a whole bunch of different shots of different places. Yeah. So this is for you guys. Yep. One of the places we did not get to try unfortunately but it does look really good um, it was recommended on TripAdvisor uh, it's called Country Vittles it's a family style restaurant it's open from 6 30 to 2 o'clock every day and did have a close we'll put it down below I can't remember what day it's actually closed it's just American cooking this was another place that we're not going to eat at, but it looked really interesting. It's called the Cafe Italiano Pizzeria and an Italian restaurant. Um, it, it even smells good out here. Um, the, the hours, they say Monday, uh, 12 to 9 every day, and they're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It's definitely a good idea to look up because certain restaurants close on certain days.
So this is J. Arthur's restaurant. The family has been in the, the restaurant business for over 80 years. And from what I'm reading, they've been here in Maggie Valley for 32 seasons, as they put it. Um, it says on the sign, bring the kids. It's, it, I remember there used to be a train that you would go above yeah, your head. Yeah, and it, it had really good food from what yeah, we remember. We've been here a couple times. Unfortunately, we're not going to be eating on this trip. No. But maybe next time we come, we'll definitely But if you are interested in things like prime rib or country co cooking, then yeah. uh, definitely check it out. Um, so it is open Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, 4 to 8, and Friday and Saturday, 4 to 9. And they are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Our next stop is Frankie's Trattoria. We might be butchering that, I'm not yeah, really sure. Italian Trattoria. Yeah. Um, this looks like a, it's an Italian restaurant. It looks like it would be really good. Unfortunately, they're closed today. Closed yeah. on Sundays and Mondays. Open every other day, four to nine, so. Yeah, they have a market and they have a restaurant. Yeah, and the market says something about chocolate truffles on it. That yeah. sounds really interesting, whatever that is. Yeah. So we recommend checking it out, yeah. and uh, if you happen to, leave a comment below. Yeah, if you've been here before, because it looks interesting. It looks good. Yeah. Wasn't that fun? Yes, yeah, so a lot of those places looked very interesting. A lot of them were closed by the time we got to them, too, so. And we also don't have all the money in the world to, no, to try everything, so. And I'm really full now. <laughs> yeah. But um, anyway, that's uh, an example of all the places you could eat in uh, Maggie Valley. It's kind of a foodie town if you're into yeah. southern food and barbecue. That wasn't all and stuff of them, like though. No, of course not. I think I saw on them, there was like 27 of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So we tried to just hit which ones we thought we would enjoy. And I saw a lot of TripAdvisor yeah. mentioning some of these places. So. Exactly. Whew, yeah. It got cold tonight. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming along with us. Keep exploring. We'll see you on the next one.